Welcome to Operations and Supply Chain Management, Chapter 1. So in this chapter, we're going to be talking about operations and supply chain management, evaluate the efficiency of a firm, what are the potential career opportunities in operations and supply chain management, and also define the major concepts of operations management in this particular video. Strategy, processes, and analytics. If you look at operations management, operations supply chain management involves production, production design, purchasing, manufacturing, service operations, logistics, distribution. Product design basically is if you want to make a car, how you design a car. But if you're going to make a car after designing the product, you have to make the car. To make the car, what are the materials that you need to purchase? That is purchasing. And then the actual production of the cars is the manufacturing. Once the car is manufactured, you want to make sure that you have service locations and uh, places where you can sell and maintain the car and so on and so forth. Logistics basically is there are two logistics. One is the inbound logistics, which is basically bringing bringing the materials the supplies from the supplier. You also have an outbound logistics. That basically is how you deliver the finished car to a dealer so that a customer can come and buy the car. Distribution basically is how for sales, how you have certain distributors, whether you're going to go through some dealerships, or whether you're going to sell it online. Those are the things which are part of the of the distribution. Anyways, the success depends upon how good a strategy you have on operations and how good you have your processes to deliver the products and services. How good your analytical abilities are to support the decisions needed to manage the firm. The success of these operations is basically based on three, three different factors. So what is operations and supply chain management? One of the things I want you to do is to go through some videos in each chapter. And one of the videos actually is on what is operations and supply chain management. That's a great video. And I want you to go through that. But regardless of that, the design, the operation, and the improvement of the systems that create and deliver the firm's primary products and services. For instance, if you're a car manufacturer, how good a design you have, how good operations you have, what kind of processes you have, and how, how you improve your processes and systems to make sure that your car is manufactured and delivered to the customer in, in, in whatever way you want to, whatever value you want to create. That is operations and management systems. The operation supply chain management also is the entire production or service delivery system as well. So these are the functional fields, operations, supply chain, marketing, finance, sales, HR, information systems. These are all the different fields of businesses or the functional fields of businesses in operations and supply chain management. So, Clearly, we have two different distinct things. One is operations, another one is supply chain. Operations basically is the manufacturing and services. 
So if there is, this country has got three big areas of economy. One is manufacturing, another one is service, another one is farming, agriculture. So we're going to take the manufacturing and services areas and then we're going to state them as operations and how we are going to manage the manufacturing and service industries in this country is the operations. Similarly, we have a supply chain. If we have materials for making a car that comes from all over the world, how do you bring those materials to Detroit or to California to manufacture cars? That is another thing that we are going to look at. That is the supply chain what kind of processes we have in order to bring all the information, all the uh, supplies from various places and what kind of information that we provide to the suppliers. That is all supply chain. So we're going to be talking about supply chain and operations in this course. The processes of supply chain basically starts with planning. So the planning of manufacturing, say, a car or a dishwasher or a TV is or, um, or a door or a flooring or anything that you can think of. That planning is the first thing that you're going to look at. Once you can have a great plan, then you can make the, the, the product, you can deliver the product, you can get different supplies and work with the suppliers in those product as well as you have some kind of a way that you if your customer is not satisfied you return the goods to the to the manufacturer or the product person okay or the sales company like you know or a, a department stores whatever wherever you we are going to return these are all the supply chain processes that we are going to look at to do this, first we let's talk about when we said operations, we said manufacturing and services, right? So in manufacturing, you have what are called goods that are delivered. In servicing industries, you have services that are given to the customer or rendered to the customer. Okay, so the goods portion of it, the manufacturing portion of it, you have what are called pure goods and you have core goods. Pure goods are like food products. Companies like Kraft, General Mills, Kellogg's, all these are pure goods. Core goods are goods that are core to the economy of this country, which is basically automobiles like Ford, Tesla, GM, Chrysler. These are all, Ford, these are all automobile companies. You have you, the GE, which makes dishwashers and um, washing machines and refrigerators um, and many other companies who make these core, core goods. Now, goods are basically tangible. They have less interaction with customers. Okay. And basically, it can be inventoried. Some of them, many of them are, some of them are very perishable also in the sense farming goods are perishable. We are not taking that into consideration. We are taking only non-perishable things into consideration. Okay. And goods basically are tangible in nature. Whereas services, in the service industry, you have core services and pure services. Core services are like hospitality like Marriott Hilton and things like that or basic uh, restaurants and things like that. Then you have pure services like education, tax services uh, like um, you know HR, HR block and so on and so forth. These are all pure services. So you have core services and pure services. Services are intangible. You need to have a lot of interaction with customers. Okay. And it is time dependent in many places. And it's also viewed as package of certain features. 
okay so if you do not find those features you need to move on to the next coach services that's the idea if you cannot find uh, restaurants in um, in um, in hospitality then you need to go to restaurant services that's what we are talking about many a time the restaurant services and the hospitality services are pulled together so in for instance in marriott you have restaurants right and that's what we are talking about as well okay careers wise you have various careers that are stemmed from operation supply chain management you have right from plant manager to chief operating officer project managers purchasing managers supply chain managers these are the many many careers that are offered to you later on in your life uh, in operations and supply chain management knowing operations and supply chain man management is very important for a business major and that's the reason this is a class that you need to take so we're going to talk more about these later on um, please go through these careers and this gives you certain careers and uh, what they are and things like that in these two different slides that I have. So take, pause it, go through, understand what these careers mean as well. The historical development of operation supply chain management started late, late 1970s and it is still going strong. Right now, the main thing that we are talking about is sustainability, how companies are sustainable. What are the things that are needed for companies in order for them to be sustainable? That's what we are talking about right now in this 2010s. So we'll be looking at sustainable in chapter two. And over the years, you had uh, total quality management, quality certification programs, business process re-engineering, and Six Sigma, and JIT, all these are still done now, even though it was pretty much invented from the 1970s onwards, we are still doing all these things now. So this is actually a cumulative effort. So it started out somewhere, but we still keep doing all these things. And right now we are in sustainability as well as business analytics. Business analytics is a separate course by itself. Okay, so you should be, if you really are interested in looking at analytics, if you're strong in analytics, you should look into that career as well, okay? So we're going to be looking at current issues. The current issues are that you need to have relationships between organizations. You're going to work with various suppliers. You're going to have various customers and various people in your company touching the customer in the sense, talking to the customer or interacting and in relationship with the customers. And then making sure that you have an uh, awareness of the competitive advantage because operation supply chain management gives a company a rousing competitive advantage. Okay, so with that, let's go to the next video where we'll be doing some math. Okay, simple math.